The Wild Robot, Chapter 2, The Otters. The island's northern shore had become something of a robot gravesite. Scattered across the rocks were the broken bodies of four dead robots. They sparkled in the early morning light, and their sparkles caught the attention of some very curious creatures. A gang of sea otters was romping through the shallows when one of them noticed the sparkling objects. The otters all froze. They raised their noses to the wind, but they smelled only the sea. So they cautiously crept over the rocks to take a closer look. The gang slowly approached a robot torso. The biggest otter stuck out his paw, swatted the heavy thing, and quickly jumped back. But nothing happened. So they wriggled over to the robot hand. Another brave otter stuck out her paw and flipped the hand over. It made a lovely clinking sound on the rocks and the otter squeaked away with delight. They spread out and played with the robot arms and legs and feet. More hands were flipped. One of the otters discovered a robot head in a tide pool, and they all dove in and took turns rolling it along the bottom. And then they spotted something else. Overlooking the gravesite was the one surviving crate. Its sides were scraped and dented, and a wide gash ran across its top. The otters scampered up the rocks and climbed onto the big box. Ten furry faces poked through the gash, eager to see what was inside. What they saw was another brand new robot. But this robot was different from the others. It was still in one piece, and it was surrounded by spongy packing foam. The otters reached through the gash and tore at the foam. It was so soft and squishy. They squeaked as they snatched at the fluffy stuff Shreds of it floated away on the sea breeze. And in all the excitement, one of their paws accidentally slapped an important little button on the back of the robot's head. Lick! It took a while for the otters to realize that something was happening inside the crate. But a moment later, they heard it. A low whirring sound. Everyone stopped and stared, and then the robot opened her eyes. And that was Chapter 2 from The Wild Robot, entitled The Otters.